Alright, hey there, this is Nathan from Tech Savvy, and today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to encrypt your USB for free using a free piece of software known as TrueCrypt. So what you're going to want to first do is go to the link that will be in the description below, TrueCrypt.org, and then just head over to the download section. And then if you want, you can make a donation, but what you're going to want to do is select um, the installation version you need. So if you're running on Mac OS X, select the DMG. And if you're running Ubuntu or any other Linux version, select this. And if you're running Windows 8, 7, Vista, XP, or 2000, just select the first version. And then after that, go ahead and close the window and then open up your setup. And then just click Yes. Over here, just after reading through this agreement, click I accept the license terms and click next. Over here, you just click install and click next. Then you can leave all this selected and click install. And it shouldn't take that long and then just go ahead and click OK. And then if you want, you can make a donation click finish. And OK. Then what you want to do is start up TrueCrypt. And you can so just select any drive and click um, create volume. Then over here you want to select encrypt a non-system partition slash drive and click next. Then just click um, standard TrueCrypt volume and click next. Over here you want to select your USB device. So if you're not sure what um, letter your drive is, just go to computer and see what it is. So mine is E. You can also check what it is by looking at the size. So mine is E and I'll just click here and click OK. Then just go ahead and click Next. And then just select the first version and, um, and keep in mind that this will format your drive. So just back up any files you have on your drive and click Next. And then... Alright, then here you'll just keep everything as it is on default and click Next. And then just go ahead and click next. And then over here you'll want to enter the password you'll be using for your USB. So just enter that in. And then just click next. And um, remember that people can crack your password using a brute force piece of software. So just may, just try and use a long password, but for this tutorial, I'll just type something in short. As this is just for demonstration purposes. And then, if you're planning to store anything above um, 4 gigabytes, select Yes. I will not, so I'll just click No. And then, as you move your mouse around, this random pool will change. So if you want to move around anywhere. Now just click Format. And then just go ahead and click yes. And you'll see you'll be going through this process right here. It'll tell you how much time you have left and the speed it's currently encrypting at. So I have 16 gigabytes to encrypt so it'll take quite a while. And I'll be back when this finishes. Alright so the format is finished and then you'll get this window up here. So it's just telling you that the volume can't be accessed using drive letter E you'll have to do something I'll show in a, in a few seconds or minutes so just go ahead and click next here I mean sorry just cancel this and then click on a random drive like N for example alright so cl uh, click select device and over here select your USB and then now click on a random drive and click mount and then just enter in the password you made earlier and click OK and you'll see it appear. Now if you go to my computer you'll see that you have a new drive here and this pretty much has all your files. If you try and access your USB you'll see that you can't access it unless you format it. So let's say I copy this shortcut into the drive. Um, I should be able to access it when I enter in this password again. So let me show you an example. I've copied that shortcut in. Now if I select the drive and then click mount and enter in the password. Wait, let me show you that it's disappeared. 
except for this. I can eject that app. Alright, but if I double click on a drive and I click and I enter in my password, you'll see that I'll appear here. And if I go, I should see a new hard drive here, and then I can be I'll be able to access my files. And if you want to revert back to your old format, just double click on your USB. Whoop. Um, actually, just right click on your USB and click format, and then select all of your format settings. And then once you're done using it, just click dismount, and I'll j uh, and then just click exit. And then just go ahead and eject your USB, and it'll be fine. Alright, so this was. Alright, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And this is Nathan from Tech Savvy, and I'm signing out. So, background. And select the background you have. And then just to make 